Well, welcome to my camping car. It is a 2015 Skoda Citigo, and uh, there's not lots to see, um, but I'll show you around the storage areas, and I've got a few new features to show you, so um, yeah, let's go. Right, there are four storage areas overall in the car, two at the front and two at the back, so let's start with the boot. So um, this is a custom built divider just out of plywood and carpeted in the same colour as the rest of the car and uh, this is where I normally keep my clothes here and uh, dry food and stuff over there and my gas stove which uh, this was custom built just to fit one of these generic stoves in and other essential items just stuffed around the gaps and there's this handy hinge here to keep it um, so it doesn't fall shut and uh, yeah there's also this lock here for when I leave the car, I can put whatever in there and keep it safe. So this second back storage area is just for my window covers and my blackout blinds, which I might as well demonstrate now. Um, so these are just um, 0.75 millimeter black polypropylene sheets that I've just cut to the size of the window and uh, these fit quite easily between the window and the frame on these back windows. The back one's a little bit trickier um, there is a bit of a knack to it to try and get it right down into the frame. but it holds in place nicely and uh, I've also got these little spy holes here for, uh, for security reasons of course but um, it allows me to see what's going on outside but they, uh, you can't see them from the outside So my mother kindly sewed uh, this velcro along this blackout fabric sheet and um, I have attached a strip of velcro along with a strip of LEDs to the headliner of the car by um, using these trim rivets which are these kind of fir tree shaped um, rivets that dig in through the headliner and have secured this strip of velcro to the top quite nicely so then I can just stick this fabric sheet straight onto the headliner so now with the blackout window covers up and the blackout blind um, no one can see inside and there's actually quite a bit of room back here if I'm in a built up area and just need to just chill out in the dark actually I've got these LEDs so I can just whack these on and uh, just relax back here so my LEDs are just controlled by this dimmer switch here and um, the wire just runs along the trim of the car door frame up to there and um, yeah very handy if it's I've got the blackout set up here and uh, oh this connects to a leisure battery down there which I'll show you shortly so moving on to this little area here I've got my uh, pee bottle here which is an old um, four and a half litre Heinz ketchup bottle and uh, nice wide opening 
solid handle, nice flat base, couldn't couldn't recommend this enough. Really solid lid and um, this is what you want. And um, I've just got it, I've just cut off this old box of salt that I had and just stuck some Velcro on here. So that goes in the middle partition, that doesn't move. And uh, this just rests there and uh, yeah. Right, moving on to the bin. So this is my bin here. This is one of my favorite inventions of the car. It is a repurposed um, pop shield for a microphone. I've just suspended a plastic bag through and clipped it on with these rubber clips. And it's handy because this just kind of can hang in space over this footwell here. And just, um, yeah, it doesn't take up any extra room at all in the car and um, fits perfectly down here. Just clip it onto the car frame and uh, yeah it can just move around if I'm not using it just to stay down there. Um, very handy really. Right so this is my 20 litre Sea to Summit water bladder. Um, the seat cover didn't come with this on. I had to remove the seat cover and my mum sewed this um, netting on and the bladder itself um, had this quarter inch thread at the, um, at the valve end here. So I just attached this tap to it and um, it's just incredibly useful, just being able to tap off water um, and 20 liters lasts quite a while in this car. So yeah, very happy with this setup. Um, and I've just got it suspended just hanging for support on top of the car seat so um, it's spreading the weight around from here and here so hopefully hopefully this lasts for quite a while and uh, what else have we got oh down here okay right so oh, i've got my carbon monoxide alarm here just because i was doing quite a bit of cooking back here in the winter and uh, it's an enclosed space so and down here I have my 372 watt hour um, portable battery. It's, uh, it's not connected to the car inverter, but I just charge it off the mains. Um, and it powers my lights and my laptop, really. I do have a solar panel for it, but I haven't, uh, haven't used that yet. And that's it for down here, really. I mainly need this space to fill up water and, um, and the bin, so I keep this pretty open. So I've got these two concealed storage hatches up the front here, which were obviously the foot wells for the um, for the seats. And uh, this I just use for pots and pans and stuff. I keep towels in here just to keep everything like non non rattly. And um, tools, scissors, and things. Um, up here I have this is more like the kind of garage area. I've got my. Oh, I've got my sleeping bag here in this like middle section here, pan lid, pan lid there, which just um, rests there so that doesn't do any rattling. Um, and this is just my garage area, so I've got hammocks and um, GoPro stuff and gas and um, stove, uh, power thing, bag, uh, solar panel just just garage stuff basically that hardly ever gets used. And I so over here is where my um, pantry bag lives. It's, an, it's a, a GP bag used for doctors on call, but I have all my sauces, spices, cooking oil, stuff like that um, in here. And um, oh, also in the front pocket here, I have this suite of uh, power banks here which I use just to charge my phone when I'm out the back here. And also, um, obviously, on the, when I'm outside somewhere, I can take one of those in the bag. And, uh, okay, my sleeping mat, let's get to that. So this is a one centimeter thick yoga mat, which um, I was worried would be thin and uncomfortable. It's actually fine for me. Um, this car doesn't have a straight line edge here it comes out so i have to position it at a slight angle um but there's so much room back here that um it's perfectly comfortable and it's um there's about seven foot i think from front to back so there's plenty of room for me here 
And um, yeah, I always sleep pretty well here. So my sleeping mat just gets rolled up. Normally just stuffed down there and that's it. I like to keep this space as clean as possible, not too much junk lying around. Right, this is where most of the charging happens. I've got phone and GoPro batteries, Bluetooth receiver, headlamp, vacuum cleaner, things like that. And I just use this as a kind of switchboard. Um, so it's pretty handy, this um, four-way converter here. So this is where I keep my shoes down here, just under the driver's seat. Um, I've got a couple of pairs of trainers, running shoes, and uh, flip-flops. And um, yeah, it obviously just keeps shoes out of the rest of the car. And um, I think that's it for the car tour. I've done two week trips, summer trips in this, and there's enough space for those clothes. Um, I do have roof bars here in case I go somewhere colder and I need to pack um, winter jackets and boots and things like that. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, I will try and answer them uh, within reason. But yeah, that is the um, Skoda Citigo camping car.